This episode calls for the use of a loaded gun. And whenever you have firearms on a set, you must have a fully qualified armorer to teach the actors how to handle the weapon. Tonight, some of the dangers are very real. There's a moment with a gun which won't tell you where that happens. There's a bit of a safety issue about doing that kind of thing, even when you're using blanks. We've got a, a good stunt coordinator in. We've already discussed the stunts with him. Hopefully, pull this off live so nobody is hurt. That's the first uh, consideration, and it looks realistic on air. Uh, there will be another bang. It'll be louder, we're told. If the drone starts kicking in, yeah, their time the may good. alter. They may get a bit carried away, and yes, you, you have an accident. don't want to really hurt people and people say well it's only the one take so why not shoot him you know <laughs> he doesn't have to say anything else after that but i think it's a little bit radical well i haven't rehearsed this stuff with the gun that i'm in um but i was certainly a little bit um, nervous about it when i read Spot on. that's hard stuff to do the you know um can obviously go wrong. The gun thing, you know, I'm not really happy about it, but hey. We could drink, have we? Tom, I've got no argument with you. While I'm wearing this uniform, doing what you're doing, yes, you do have. No, you don't. He'd clutch his chest uh, and press the, the bottle, which will then release the fluid from beneath his shirt. Is it just wash off? Yeah. yeah. I think in a way, I think the audience knows that it's a sleight of hand if it's if it's done well enough they'll say oh we'll accept it but they in the back of their minds they know that that actor hasn't really been killed so how much would you trust a workmate tonight simone's character susie rayner finds herself in the wrong place at the wrong time i think i've been rolled to the ground and kind of kicked and pushed aside and not punched it's a first why that's it that's, I'm that's side, it I'm yeah, by that's yeah, that's a work because he wants to be here. Yeah, if you yeah, actually absolutely. come to here, you know, to to, to the, the intention of of no, coming in between, yeah, yeah. But yeah. He needs to know that I'm coming, and I need to know that he's swinging. And then once you get hit here, you. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, that's Where right. do you want me to finish? Uh, here. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then, then you go straight into the camera. You know, oh, it'll be a great sure. shot. Yeah, yeah. Teeth, teeth falling teeth, out. Teeth, blood, that's the old skin. Game. I am going to drink a cup of blood while the camera is not on me. Yeah. And then I'm going to spit it out at the appropriate moment. So by the time she gets, she just has to spit it out and it's already in her mouth. So it's just, yeah, it's a sleight of hand, tricks of the trade. It's all about timing really, isn't it? And angles and sort of where they're shooting you from just to be aware at the end of the day it's it's really to give the show the best shot <laughs> we'll be giving it a full swing on the day it's on from the moment the show goes to air it's quite a major story for for jonesy the audience will give it a hit of drama it's a story about double jeopardy it starts on a very high note it's in my view classic storytelling dramatic crescendo so i don't think i can tell you what the story is In the end, the decision to go ahead with it was really based on how good this cast is. It's fraught with the danger, but but I think it gives it a a real uh, um, energy as well. What's the point of going live? Because if it works, the audience isn't even going to know. And that will be the great the great trick. But there's also you know there's the potential for the thrills and spills at the racetrack, which um, you know which could liven things up. The newspaper commentator said that you know if it goes so well, you know where's the fun in that? But but on the other hand, the, our challenge is to make it go as well as that. There are still many problems to be ironed out. We're so excited and exhilarated the, the possibilities that could happen within that hour. Um, who knows? You will know the difference because it's live and the whole dynamic of what's happening on set is totally different. It's really proved to be terrific fun. We just have to be ready. Certainly it will be a unique night. There is a level of adrenaline that doesn't happen when you're doing serious television. What do they think? We can't do this. Anyway, we are. Well, final checks have been completed. 29 cast and 105 crew are about to embark on an unstoppable hour of drama they will never forget.